Hello everybody, I'm Alex and today I'm gonna up the price on the laundry equipment. It is $1.25 to do laundry now. Uh, it's been 10 years since we haven't up it. So today I'm gonna change it from $1.25 to $2. So stick around, I'll be right back. Okay, so these are my machines. I have four in this building. We have two and two one. This is my setup. It is 125 and we're gonna change it for two dollars. So we are gonna need these parts. These are the blanks. We're gonna remove the plastic black ones and we're gonna insert these ones and this our sticker. The first thing we're going to do is unplug the equipment and then we're going to access our service door and then if you see here this is a long screw it, it is right here in the center and that screw goes all the way to the front and it's gonna thread here. So if you see that, that's a long screw. So we're gonna do, we're gonna use a 516 nut driver to remove this bolt. So this is the bolt we're gonna remove, and we're gonna use a 516 nut driver. And then you're just gonna do counterclockwise. And then we're gonna remove it and put it aside. And then we're gonna grab our cone slider, open down until it releases, until it loses it up. There you go. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna push the coin mechanism we're gonna pull out a little bit and then push and then push on this with your thumb and then you're gonna move right tilt right and left until the whole things come out now we're gonna, we're gonna remove these springs just unhook it, don't remove them. This is one, and this is two. Do not remove these screws, just unhook the springs. Now you're gonna turn upside down, and we're gonna remove these two screws. Now when you remove this bracket, put it the way you remove it, so uh, when it's time to put it back, you know how it goes. And now we're gonna remove the fingers, uh, so you need something, a, a point tool, it could be a screwdriver, a very uh, small flat screwdriver, I'm using my thermometer, because it's small and it's pointy. So you're gonna, Grab it from one corner and just kind of just lift up. You want to grab it with both hands and you have to be careful because this is a two part here. We have this here and then we have the fingers and these metal plates are inserted in each of the fingers. So, uh, and then there is a rod here in the center that is going through the whole, all the fingers. You just have to be careful and uh, lift it up like this, like one piece, and then put it on the side just as you took it, so you know how it goes. And now we're gonna push the bottom part, the coin, the slider, we're gonna push it in 
and it, if you see this, we're gonna expose it, so we're gonna push all the way to the front. And then we have three more Phillips screws. And again, put it the same way you took it and just put it on the side. And now, if you see here, we have the metal slots and then the plastic ones. This is 125, so there's only five metal ones. One, two, three, four, five, and three of the plastic ones. So we're gonna remove the plastic ones, which are blank plates, and we're gonna put the metal ones that have the hole for the coin. So what you have to do is just put something pointy, a screwdriver or something, and then just pull up, and it'll come up, just like that. Sometimes if it's hard to get out, you can remove the ones on the side next to it. And then you're gonna be able to remove this. And now we have, we have to put our blanks the same way as the other ones and I go by this circle mark, this stamp here. So just, this is gonna be facing down. So it's gonna go like that. That's my round thing. That's gonna be facing down. Okay, so we're good. Now we're gonna have our plate back and the two, the three Phillips screws. Now what we have to do, we're gonna push it back. And then, until you see the solid part, because here it has some spring mechanism. So you wanna push it in, and then you wanna put uh, the fingers and the other thingy device, I don't know the name of this, we're gonna put it back as we took it. Now remember, the flat side goes first in the back, And the two slots, the bar goes in there, if you see here. And now the plate we took, it goes back as we took it apart. And now we're gonna put our spring back. And now I'm gonna lubricate the parts. I'm using dry lube, just a square, it doesn't take much. Upside down. and then where the coin goes. And that's just so it goes easy in and out.
it works nice and easy and now it is ready to take it back where it goes and then one more time you have to test with the sliding side in place so put your coins And then you have to unplug the machines, otherwise the dryers are gonna collect time. And the dryers collect three times 180 minutes. So you're stuck. So now that you put your coin, just push in and make sure that, it, make sure that everything works.